I'm your host, Mr. Farrell, bringing you breaking Bray River High School art news. Typically, this time of year, we're doing the rivers, believe it or not. Showing the world all the weird and strange things that could exist. But considering the circumstances, I don't think that's necessary. So what is our jump start? Why, it's none other than Food Apocalypse. <laughs> food Apocalypse? I'll explain. Do you know whose portrait that is at the back of that gallery? It's none other than the Earl of Sandwich. The Earl of what? Yeah, the Earl of Sandwich. You couldn't possibly mean, like, sandwich. Uh, according to the Oxford Dictionary, why, yes, I could, because according to the Oxford Dictionary, our famous little Earl here, the Earl of Sandwich, loved his gambling so much and playing cards that when he was asked to get up from the table to go get a bite to eat, he's like, just slap some bread, meat, and cheese together, and I'll eat right here. And in case if you're wondering, there is a modern Earl of Sandwich. I just can't tell which one looks more like an owl. Back to our jumpstart Foopocalypse and how it relates to Itsio Kobayashi. If you don't recall, Kobayashi drew for 32 years every meal he created. How does that relate to you? You're going to draw the meals that you create out of your imagination. But Mr. Farrell, how's this all going to work? Aren't we all in quarantine? How are we supposed to come up with something cool with food if we're all, you know, sitting at home? Because boredom is the mother of invention. Listen to me. You've looked at your pantry and said, there's nothing there. I've got Cheetos, I've got peanut butter, and I've got bread. That's right. You could actually get credit now for that crazy Cheeto peanut butter sandwich you created. So there's rules for this jumpstart? Why, yes, there are. The Foodpocalypse rules are as follows. First, the food must be real and a crazy, crazy combination. Second, you must draw it. The drawings must contain real food items considered safe by the Food and Drug Administration. Yes, you may include utensils such as plates, bowls, and etc. You will not be forced to eat your creativity. However, if you do, we won't complain if you describe it. And again, all food must be real and from this planet. I see you there, Colonel Sanders. You're not turning Baby Yoda into nuggets. But let's be honest. Fast food chains are the masters of weird food combinations. For example, Pizza Hut in England made a cheeseburger crust pizza with whole cheeseburgers in it. But the king's not going to be outdone because he's the king. The king's bringing the heat in the food apocalypse. This is Burger King's Ghost Whopper. It's a white cheddar flavored spectral white bun. But that was just the warm up. The king would follow up with Mac and Cheetos, Flaming Hot, Cheese Sticks. But maybe the king would dab too soon. But you know who's really not afraid to bring it? Why, none other than the famous Colonel Sanders. You want to talk about crazy food inventions? This guy took two chicken fillets, slapped bacon and cheese between them, and the special Colonel sauce. And I know you're thinking, how can I compete with this? Well, for example, somebody took Dunkin' Donuts munchkins and combined KFC's popcorn chicken and created Munchik Popkins. Yeah, I know. Pretty creative. And remember that one time you put orange sherbet into your ramen noodles? Why, that could make you the food apocalypse champion. The only difference now is instead of gagging on it, you're going to draw it. And instead of the Earl of Sandwich being celebrated, it could be you. I'm Farrell, and this has been a Brain River High School art production.